Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Uh, today we're going to try uh, this train. Um, I'm going to put the capo with the second fret, and I got a G chord. I'm going to play it six times. That's, that's the whole progression. It just keeps repeating over and over again. Uh, this train was bound for it. This train was bound for boy and had a D chord. This train's a G, da 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 C. Make sure it's for two and then G, D, and back. This train is a G. And just repeats over and over again. So, your G chord, any G chord will do. Six string third fret. 5th string 2nd fret, 1st string 3rd fret, that's the one I play, and all those numbers are in relationship to the capo. Uh, then you go to a D chord, 3rd uh, string, 1st string, 2nd fret, 2nd string, 3rd fret. I'm going to mute that 6th string with my thumb, it's not part of the chord, we don't want to hear it. And then you need a C chord, 5th string, 3rd fret, 4th string, 2nd fret, 2nd string, 1st fret. I'm going to mute the 6th string, it's part of the chord, but it's too muddy down there. So I get rid of it, because this is our root right here, 5th string, 3rd fret, that's a C. Alright, so that's one way to play it. Uh, oh, the strumming pattern. Uh, you could pick anything, really. I could have done it a number of different ways, but I just did the easy one. The down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down. You do that six times. to end it. Uh, let's show you how to do it in a different key. So if you didn't have the capo and uh, you want to play the key of A, you could use an A chord. the capo, like with the capo at the second fret, it makes the G chord into an A chord sound wise anyway. So I just did an A chord, fourth string, third string, second string, second fret. That's my A, got rid of the sixth string. Instead of an E chord, I went to an E7 because I like the sound better for the song. Third string, first fret, fifth string, second fret. That's my E7. Then uh, eventually, it's I, I did six measures of A, two measures of E7, back to A for two, and then I went to a D chord, which you already know from the other uh, uh, version, <laughs> D chord for two, and then A for one, E seven for one, and then A for two. So this is like a little transposition exercise for you too. That's, that's why we use the capo, change the key, basically. Any questions, comments down below? Hit the like button and please subscribe. Thanks for watching.